All right, we are live. Hello, everyone. How's everyone doing? Great, great. Good to see everybody. I know this is a different time, uh, but we have, um, uh, what do we have tonight? We have the International Locker Room with Mr. Bradley, so we had to adjust the time. So thank you for being flexible um, and being able to join us this morning. Um, so last week, we had a, dis well, we had a good discussion last week, but the training was follow-ups um, from your likes and your comments on your social media and being able to add those people to your running list so that you're able to build rapport with them. And then at some point you're going to grab them as part of your group of people that you're gonna peak for the upcoming week. So I wanna know who actually ran the play and how, how, how much longer is your running list? It should be like hundreds of people long and getting long. So who wants to talk about that? And how is your DMO going so far? Come on, Corey. <laughs> Has anyone like, really don't call me, don't call me. She gotta call me. She right, call right. Me. So at this point, everybody should have a DMO though. So every day you have a list of what you do every single day. So everybody has that, right? Has everybody created that? So anybody want to mm -hmm. share what their DMO looks like? And everybody's is gonna be different. Well, mine since since um director Burke called me out, <laughs> which I appreciate. Um I, my DMO is, um, I, at the end of the day of my work day, because I literally have, like I said, have to turn my phone off so I don't get distracted while I'm at work. So um, at the end of my work day, I'm looking to see um, whoever I might have peaked like the night before has responded to anything that I, I messaged or anything that I put on or I posted, um, anyone that commented or liked. If I'm I need to add them to my list, um, or, and any follow-ups, or you know anyone that I need to invite to the evening presentations, depending on what their comment was, or you know based on discussions, or, or, or think, based on whatever the the comment in the messenger was, is determines you know where we go as far as do I send them to a presentation. Um, if I had already sent them a um, video um, or if I had already sent them or if I've done a peak interest card and, I've sent, and they've seen the video um, and they're ready to go and look at it, they sent me a text message and they're ready to go and look at the, the presentation, it, it just kind of all depends. Um, so I'm checking a lot of different um, I'm looking at my phone, checking text messages, I'm checking Messenger, I'm checking Facebook, and all of the, those things before um, we do the presentation to determine where I need to send my my, my, my people or adding them to my list. Mm -hmm. So How yes, are you doing has with your weekly goals? Hmm? How are you doing with keeping up with your weekly goals for peaks, exposures, and three ways? Um, I'm doing, I, I've definitely done good now that I've put a number to it. Before, I've never really put a number to it. Mm -hmm. I just, just did. I mm -hmm. never put a number to it. And so um, now that I put a number to it, it's kind of um, put me, made me a little bit more uh, competitive and a little bit more aware. That's good. Of what I'm doing I, instead of just being, just doing. Right. Right. That's good. That's good. April. Good morning. Good morning. So how, <clears throat> how have you been doing with your DMO? Are you, uh, what is your DMO? And do you find that you're more consistent and more productive and more organized that you know what you need to do on a daily basis to work your business? Absolutely. Um, so I have, of course, everything down in my planner. Um, I work 10 hour days. So I do a lot of my business in the morning um, and it just helps me to know who I have to follow up with. Um, you know, if we've done a three-way, when I'm supposed to follow back up with that person, or if we've done a post and, um, you know, I'm using the options that we took from, I think, what was it, boot camp week three. 
um, where we talked about, you know, if I could, um, you know, help you find a way to make this happen. Um, and I love the post that you did with, um, you know, if you became rich today, you know, what would you do with it? I got a lot of responses off of that. And so just making sure that I'm adding those people to the list. Um, because, you know, sometimes you reach out to them in Messenger, they don't message you right back. So those are the people that go on the list. And then the other people I'm just working to to get in. And I actually had an MTG this week. So um, it's going good. Where am I saying that? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. That is Thank awesome. You. That is awesome. Super proud of you. Keep up the good work. Thank you. And how are you doing with um, keeping up with your weekly goals for uh, peaks, exposures, and three ways? So I've got my weekly goals. Um, as far as keeping up with them, I'm not where I want to be. But okay. I'm definitely getting better. So okay. it helps me to have that visual on my board, you know, with my goals. Um, and so I look at that. It's right here in front of my desk. I see it all the time. And so it, it helps me to stay um stay focused because i've got it where i can see it at all times yeah. that is fantastic good job april thank Ms. you johanna she's like i knew she was gonna call me yep good morning good morning we want to hear from you how you doing with your dmo and staying consistent hitting your goals adding to your list so it's going good i um so during the week i work pretty much the whole day, Monday through Thursday. I be, I'm working from eight to 11 at night. Wow. <laughs> so I try to, um, you know, pose and look at my phone when I'm like on lunch or break. Mm -hmm. um, Wait, did you say try? Cause we don't use that word in planning. <laughs> I do. I do. I look, I go on Facebook um, and I check my posts. I, or I'll post something um, at my lunch and then on break, I try to skim through it. Did you say try again? Because we don't say that word, try and plan it, Mark. I skimmed through the post <laughs> to see if anybody responded. Um, this last, I think it was Friday, I put a post up and I um, did reach my exposure, which I had put 10. So mm -hmm. 10 people, um, three common and seven light. Um, and then I, um, you know, followed up with them, sent them the preview video. Um, and I was, had on my list to follow up with them today mm -hmm. um, to see what they thought about the video and if they had any questions and to hopefully schedule the three-way calls. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, so um, yeah. So when you follow up with them, it's not to ask them if they have questions. It's after having watched the videos, is this something you're interested in learning more about? It's a okay. simple yes or no. When they say yes, you say, great. When you're available for a call, you schedule a three-way call and then send them the big picture video. Okay. Yep. Yep. So I make sure you, <laughs> yeah, make sure you, you know, following that Jappy, the Jappy gives you step by step. If they say this, do that. If they say that, do this. It's, it's very, it's the system. We want to follow the system. When you don't follow the system, that's when you get caught out there. Okay. Yeah. But good job, Johanna. I love the way how Johanna's DMO is allowing her to keep um, staying active in her business, even though she's working crazy hours, 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. That's that's crazy. But see how she still her calendar is allowing her to do what she needs to do in her business. So if she could do it. Anybody can do it. Right. Um, let's see. OK, so Javon's at work. David, are you able to speak? Where you at? I want to hear from the fellas. All right, we'll come back to him. Aisha? I'm ashamed to say I am struggling with my DMO. What's wrong? What's wrong? Uh, between like my work schedule, um, like from the times that I get up to go drive and from the time that I get on the, I start working. Sometimes I don't have a signal, so I can't work it as when I want to work it. Mm -hmm. um, and then when I get home, I, I just let this, I just let my body get tired. Um, so I'm ashamed I do not follow my DM up like I'm supposed to. Um, okay. But I am keeping up with um, my peak and interest, uh, my PS3. 
um, I'm most definitely peaking, mm-hmm. but I need to start uh, following up more with when I peak because I peak and then I it's like I peak and I forget or I peak and I let let it let it be leave it alone mm-hmm. I don't follow up with it like I should so it's like I'm putting the dollar out there letting them take the dollar but not getting my dollar back mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so one of the things that will help you Aisha I posted a video did anybody watch the video about how I use my cell phone to do follow-ups did anybody watch that video I posted in the group. Aisha, go watch that video for someone like you who is doing ride share and constantly on the go. Being able to follow up is important because like you said, you don't know when you when you're going to be somewhere if you have a signal or not. Watch the video. It's posted in the boot camp group on how I use my cell phone to follow up. But basically, in short, Every time I send a video out to someone, I immediately put them on my cell phone as an appointment to follow up. Immediately. You get a video, you're on my cell phone as an appointment. Remember, this whole, this whole um, boot camp is about creating a DMO and using your calendar and your schedule so that you can get things done. Well, guess what? That includes the follow-ups, which is like the fortune is in the follow-up. If you're putting this information out there and you're not following up on the people who bite, you just kind of wasted your time, really. You just throwing spaghetti at the wall and hoping something sticks, which does not work if you're not an influencer. And Crystal, thank you. Director Brown just pinned that video that training video at the top. That is what I use to make sure that people didn't fall through the cracks. So just kind of put it in your mind. If I send someone a video because they said, yes, I'm open to looking, immediately go to your cell phone calendar and schedule them as a follow-up either that day or the next day. Because you make you want to make sure you follow up within 24 hours of sending someone any information that they have requested. And you just keep moving that appointment. If you do that, your calendar is going to be jam-packed. Jam-packed. Because think about how many people you sent the videos to last week or over the last three or four days. Those are now follow-ups. So now you're filling up your calendar with income-producing activities. Because then they're going to go from a follow-up and then you're going to get to swap it to a three-way call. Very, very simple. So watch that video. Um, Lacey, how you been doing with your DMO and keeping up with your peaks, exposures, and three-way goals? Well, as of this week, my um, peaks and exposures have been down. I've been having problems with my internet. Mm -hmm. So during the Zooms, it consumes a lot of it. But mm-hmm. I'm still able to go through my um, good morning, my post, my emails and making sure everything is been, everyone has been contacted who has reached out on a post. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I mainly have friends and family responding to posts. Mm, that's interesting. That's different. <laughs> Make sure you're you're continuing to add new qualified friends to your friend list because you don't want to keep um, marketing to the same people that are not interested. If they were interested, they would have jumped. How many of you posted about us hitting 78,000? If you have not posted that banner, and I actually shared a banner that showed 76 and the date, 77 and the date, 78 and the date. Um, I, I took it from Director Scott because I'm always stealing his stuff. If you have not posted that with a call to action, saying that we're going into momentum, you are totally missing the boat on promoting your business. And so anybody who likes and comments on that post, guess what? They get added to the list. 
because that means they're watching they're seeing the momentum and you're saying don't watch us join us we're not waiting on you and so to a lot of people who you reached out to who told you no now here's a great opportunity to go back to those people and say hey listen we just hit 78,000 we just had it 2,000 people is it 2,000 one two 2,000 people in 12 days is that right, Director Brown? Is my math right? <laughs> we added 2,000 people in 12 days. I can't let you miss this. What questions do you have about this opportunity? Let's talk. Great reason to go back to people. Ah, Norma says she made that her cover. Good. Javon, he also posted. Tamika, excellent, excellent, excellent. David, how has your DMO been working out for you? Uh, David is a teacher. He's a new dad. He busy. Hey, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, yeah, sorry. I was getting situated. I just came back from New York City. Awesome. Um, core tour. Um, but um, as far as my DMO, my DMO is, is pretty good. I, I see that right now I got to like increase the amount of peaks that I'm doing. Okay. Because I have How did you come to that conclusion? Because I I'm not meeting like what um, the amount of three ways that I that I want to have scheduled, so I have to like increase the amount of peaks that I'm doing. Okay, good. Um, but as far as my calendar, I mean, I'm very, I'm getting accl acclimated with the calendar right now. It was very new to me, so I'm I'm ever since we started this. I mean, I've been jotting down everything in, in the calendar, and it's 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 been working. That's awesome. That's awesome. Very good. Very good. Uh, Charmaine, how are you doing? How have you been doing with your DMO and hitting your weekly goals and all that good stuff? Hey, everybody. Um, well, when I first began, I figured out that I didn't have a lot of friends so, or know a lot of people that was um, I'm, that I'm associated with. So I've been, I've been doing like a lot of reels and just trying to reel people in and trying to are you saying if you say try one more time i'm, I'm gonna sorry, come this I'm sorry, and hit your hand with a ruler that is not what you say just can get some y'all so i'm sorry um <laughs> so i have been doing that though i have been doing reels i've been doing my grandbaby i just been doing a lot of different things to increase my um my people power like mm -hmm. Are you sending out friend requests to qualified people? I have increased my um Facebook. I have. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot. Of Where are you I finding have. the people at? Um, I have a lot of people following me now from some of my reels. So I've been finding people there, and then at work, I've been passing out my business cards, and I mean, I yeah. Okay, so let me ask you this. This is good, and I'm glad you 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 talked. To I heard you say you're doing some reels with your grandbabies. Yeah. Are you doing any reels that are related to you having a business opportunity? Not yet, no ma'am. Okay, so here's, here's the problem. I want y'all to catch this. She's doing reels that have nothing to do with the business or that she has an opportunity that can help people get financial freedom, personal freedom, time freedom, or being able to book their trips or anything like that. And so now she's getting more followers, but are they gonna become business partners? No, because they don't even know that she has a business. So you're kind of defeating the purpose. Okay. It's okay. I'm not saying don't do the reels about the grandbaby. No, that's great. But where's the balance? Okay. Where's the, I'm a grandmother and I'm a travel business owner because I'm gonna be able to help pay cash for my grandbabies college tuition when they're ready to go where are my other grandmas at that want to be able to afford to take their grandbabies to disney who wants to learn more about if you're not you you want a friend you want people to follow you that are qualified prospects people that are like-minded people that are business-minded people that are professional people who want more out of life 
Like I said, I'm not saying don't do the reels about other stuff. You definitely want to do those because that keeps up your algorithm. But where's the reels about the business? Right? So there's a video that I want you to watch um, called on my YouTube channel. I think we posted it in the, in the boot camp. Your network is your net worth. Does anybody know if that's in there? Did I put that in there? I did. If not, I'm gonna go back and look. But that will show you, Charmaine, how you can find like-minded people that will be interested in your business opportunity and how you can friend them and build relationships with them. Even people that live in, in your community, in your city, okay? Because okay. I don't want you, you're putting this effort into doing the reels. That's great. But if they're not people that are business-minded and looking for an opportunity, was it worth it? If it doesn't help you turn them into a business partner, was it worth your time and energy? Right? And reels are great, but if you're not peeking from those people, then again, now you're putting this energy out there, but you're not getting a return of investment of your time. So watch that training video. And if you have any questions, just get on my calendar, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Beverly and Devoris, how y'all doing? One of y'all come, whoever ain't driving, come on and uh, tell us how you're doing with your DMO. Hey, how you doing? The yeah. DMO is going really well. For me this week, um, peaking interest, showing the plan, entering when, uh, not only just for myself, but also my team members. Um, had one team member to close two people this week. Um, let's see, was it? And we had some, we, I think about four, four, five, Three, five, three ways. And I told you last week when you told me what to do, you told me, make sure that I'm sending that video first. Mm -hmm. And so I heard what you said. I made the adjustment and it worked. Wow. That is so, awesome. So it, it's coming. Um, super exciting. Uh, divorce and I are on our way to the Carolinas. Yes. I was on to Charlotte. We on our way to Charlotte. And one of my team members has a somebody who already peaked interest. Um, she lives in Spartanburg, which is about an hour plus from the uh, from Charlotte. But I talked to her and she was willing to go to, she was willing to stay up. She was in Charlotte for the weekend. She's mm -hmm. gonna stay there. I already got it set up. I told my um my business party who lives in Houston, I got her. So I got her. Nice. Excellent. So excellent, 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 excellent. Devoris? Yes, ma'am. I've had um, quite a few, set up a quite a few uh, three ways coming up because I've been sending out the videos and I have people asking me about, about the information from the pink, pink interest post that I put out. Um, and so that's good. So I'm having a lot of activity when it comes to that. Mm -hmm. um, and then I've been trying to, I have a couple people out this way, but they're not responding to me. When it comes about Charlotte, I even put, I even asked on my page, who's in Charlotte, I haven't had a response to that yet, but I'm coming to support it. So I'm, I'm excited. So the next time I come, I plan to have um, someone there as well. Mm -hmm. um, but it's been going good. It's been going good. I, I have some dates this week for sign up. So I'm excited about that. So excellent. You know, yeah. I'm and, and this woman here is an online influencer. She's an undercover. I look. And all the people who were responding to that, we put some, a post. What was about, the post? What was the post about uh, if you were to become a millionaire? The one, if you want to come, if you, if you became rich today, what would you do with your money? That one, the one that's been going around. So I've had a lot of people, yeah. Her post is crazy. The responses, I'm like, oh my God, you are online influencer. She like you. That's great. <laughs> She like you. She on the cover. I said, girl, you better come up on that cover. She yeah, has so many responses. I got some. I'm grateful for mine. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of people that I'm 
reaching out to the, to get them on to see the information. So I'm gonna start actually right now. I'm gonna start sending them the video because you know somebody gave me slow. So I'm gonna mm -hmm. send them the video and so I can get them in some of these webinars this week. That's good. That's good. And remember, everybody that responds to that post gets added to the list. Right. Make sure your list. Here's the other thing. Make sure your list has a column for where they live. Yes. So that when you do have a core tour in Charlotte, you can see, okay, who lives in Charlotte, in and or around Charlotte or North Carolina? And now you you can specifically go to them and personally invite them as opposed to just posting a flyer and hoping someone in Charlotte sees it. Right, because you remember um, around the holidays, we had a few, uh, who, can I get uh, 50, how was it? Uh, Merry Christmas in all 50 states. Mm -hmm. So I wrote everybody down in what state they were from. So that's why I'm kind of going back towards that too. So yeah, that's true. Very true. Yep, yep. That's good. That's good. And I love that y'all are together taking this ride down there. That's what y'all want to do. You got to connect with your business partners. That's right. That's my AP here. <laughs> I love it. Y'all get y'all get there safely. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I love that. Connect, find someone in the business that you can lock arms with, um, that you can be either accountability partners, travel buddies, you know, that you're working this thing together. It makes the business so much more enjoyable and those people will push you. Um, and I love what you said, Norma, for Charmaine, um, doing posts around the business saying that the business allows you to have more time with your grandchildren. There's so many grandmas and grandpas who want to have more time with their grandchildren, but they can't because they got to work. Or they live too far away and they don't have the money to, to travel to see them. So Charmaine, that's an angle that you could be using um, when you're doing the, the, some reels with your grandkids. Okay, so who's your sponsor? Is it Norma? Who's your sponsor? Josephine. Ah, Josephine. She know what to do. <laughs> yes, get with Josephine and tell her to help you with your social media so that it's um, more business. You want to do more business stuff. You want to add 20% business, 80% personal. Okay. That'll help you. And All right. The, and some of the stuff that I remember you saying is best to copy and then paste. But if some of the stuff won't let you copy it, how would you go about doing that? Everything lets you copy. So you download it to your clipboard? Yeah. And then but I you guess don't wanna it. you don't wanna copy word for word, like typically. Like I love director Tamikia, po Tamikia Smith's post. So I'll copy her posts and put it in the notes section of my phone. But then I go in and I, I tweak it to make it original to me. I don't copy exactly what she posted. Like a lot of you did that if you're a rich thing or whatever. I saw it. I copied it to my notes section. But there's so many of you doing that post. If I do it, it won't be until next month. Okay. Right. That's, so, that's the one I was trying to copy. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I mean, that, it's fine, but I'm just saying there's so many people, you know, I just don't want to do it at the same time all y'all are doing it. So I kind of have a, I have a whole section in the notes section of my phone for, for posts. So I can go and pick any one of them over the last six years that I've been saving. And then eventually I'll use the one that y'all did. But I don't want to do it now because I've seen too many people do it. So mix it up and you personalize it. Don't copy word for word, especially if it's words that you wouldn't normally use. You want to make it personal to you. Get, a, get an understanding of the message that the post is saying, but then put it in your words so that it is an original post from you. And switch up the picture. Switch up the colors. Make it unique. Norma? Uh, yes, I fi I figured maybe she said she couldn't copy it. 
because sometimes people already it's a somebody put it up and then they crop it and then they oh, put that it up is there. a meme yeah 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 so so she may not be able to copy and paste so it then you just retype it mm -hmm. that's what i have to do yeah now see if you have an iphone iPhone lets you uh, copy those words from an image. I'm just saying. <laughs> yes, it does. How do you do that? Because that, sometimes I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, it's a note. Then you got to make sure you have the update. But yes, if there's words on a image, iPhone lets you copy it. Android do that too. I don't know nothing about that, David. Who was talking? Nobody was talking to you. <laughs> Thank you, David. Thank you. Here we go, Apple versus Android. Y'all know how I get. <laughs> uh, Tamika, are you somewhere where you can speak? She look like she at work. Danette, how have you been doing with your DMO? Hi, everybody. Morning, director. Good morning. So I make sure I do my mindset. Um, meditating prayer my reading and then I commit an hour to prospecting um half hour to posting um follow-ups I gotta get better at and I'm putting stuff in my calendar to be able to do that better um or maybe sh making sure that I put it in the calendar to do the follow-ups because that's what's helping me my calendar <laughs> um um I send reminders to when I have a prospect to the webinars so that they know like half hour before so I try to not a try I do that mm -hmm. and at the end of the day one of the things I started to implement last week is to um, look at my calendar for the next day so I kind of know what to do yeah that's good that's good Danette yeah same thing with me usually right before bed I kind of look at my calendar just to mentally prepare myself for the next day and then first thing in the morning I look at my calendar to say, okay, this is what I got going on today. So that's good. That's good. All right. So uh, any questions about the training for last week or any issues that you've had in your week that we need to discuss before we start our training that is going to be facilitated by Director Brown? Any questions? Let me check Facebook. Hey, Facebook. Hey, how y'all doing? And I'll be forgetting my peeps on Facebook. Who's on Facebook? Let's see. Let me see. How do I see the notes? Swipe to the left to reveal. Okay, here we go. All right, I see Josephine on there. Hey, Alicia. Hey, Laura. Uh, Laura said my reels hit 1.4, but I don't know how to see the people who viewed the reels. So if you know the answer to that question, Please type it in the chat because I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hey, Thelma Queen. Shandrika, Shaheen. All right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so I am going to hand it over to our three-star director, soon to be a sapphire ring wearer, Director Crystal Brown. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, you know, it's funny thinking about the real views, the people that looked at the reels. One of my directs, Shia. So when you have the professional dashboard, you can see how many people your page is reaching. And her page is reaching like over a hundred thousand people. And I'm like, if we could figure out who these hundred, like my page not even reaching that many people, like what is going on? So the professional dashboard is cool to be able to see how many people you are reaching. But I just told her to keep being consistent with what you're doing, because obviously a whole bunch of people is watching you. So just yeah. keep on doing your thing. And you know what, Director Brown, even if you can't see who they are reaching, if you have a call to action. Mm hmm. They will see it. And if they're interested, guess what? They're going to act. Yep. That's even more of a reason to make sure that, again, 20% of the time, your reels are about you having a business opportunity to make money and then do a call to action for those people to reach out to you for more information or put a link to your calendar or a video or something in there as well. Yes, absolutely. So um, and yes, the insights, Norma. So what we are going to discuss 
this week. I'm excited about it because I think that this really shows us like who is like, I'm doing whatever it takes, whatever I have to do to expose my business, how the different ways that I can show the plan, whatever I got to do, I'm willing to do it because I want to win. And one of the ways that you are able to show the plan and to win is having a private business reception or a PBR, a private business reception, a travel party, um, whatever you want to call it. But all it is, you guys, and sometimes people think too, too big. People go and spend a whole bunch of money and just do all this crazy stuff. You do not need to do that. All you need to do right at your home even if you have, let's say that you don't have enough space at your home or you don't want someone to come to your home. I've even told people to ask a family member, hey, can I have a little get together at your home this weekend on this day, wherever the case is. And as a thank you, I'll give you a, a three day, two night getaway. You know, give somebody something. If you don't want to do it at your house, you can give someone something for allowing them to use your home. With a private business reception, you guys, all you're doing is inviting some people over. I want you guys to call, to call a minimum of 10 people, a minimum of 10 people. Hey, I want you to come over this weekend, this day. I'm going to be having a little get together. It's going to be some snacks, some hors d'oeuvres. And I'm also going to be sharing some information about my travel business. One of the things that uh, director Tamikia Smith told me one time is ask somebody to bring something. Now they got to come because they in charge. Can you bring the ice? I would love for you to come to my get together this weekend. We're going to have some hors d'oeuvres and things like that. Can you bring the ice for me? Now they're in charge of something, so they're going to come. You need your ice. They can't let you down with your ice, right? <laughs> like, I need my ice. So you're inviting people over, and you are going to, the, the quickest way is to just play the big picture video, right? If you wanted to have someone to, um, stream through the Zoom, of course, to be able to answer questions at the end, or if you wanted somebody to do the full presentation through the Zoom, you could, but showing the big picture video is the easiest way to go ahead, share that information and get it out there. Now, this is why you need an HDMI cord, because you're probably wondering, well, how am I going to show the big picture video? A HDMI cord is going to be connected from your laptop or you may be able to use a tablet. I've never used a tablet before. It's always been my laptop. So you have the HDMI cord connected to your laptop and to your TV to bring up that video. Even if you was doing the presentation, you can have the presentation on your laptop. And if those cords are connected, it's gonna show on your TV. All right, so... If you do not have your HDMI cord, you should have it because we talked about this week one to have an HDMI cord. You guys need to practice and make sure you can set that up. You do not want to wait. Let me tell you my story. My very first PBR that I did when I first got started, I did not practice. And so when it was the day of the party and it was now time <laughs> to show the presentation, I couldn't figure it out. Could not figure it out. And I ended up having to sit, set my laptop on the table. Luckily, it was only five people at, at my party, which was fine, because guess what? All five of those people signed up. They did not sign up that day, but they all signed up at some point. All five of them. So I ended up sitting my laptop on the table, and we all had to sit around my laptop to watch <laughs> the video. So don't be like me. Figure out how to work that HDMI cord now. So I want you guys to set that up perfect on a Samsung phone. So y'all had a phone war, I think, while I was gone. So that's why you have a Samsung. Okay. Well, you can, can use that phone. <laughs> Let me add to that, Director Brown, um, because last week I was at Stephanie's house to do a PBR and I had my laptop, I had the HDMI cable and we... I don't know, we could, cause you know, when you work with an HDMI cable, you need to know about that input button. 
Mm -hmm. Gotta learn the input button so that you could choose uh, the HDMI one or the HDMI two. And some people just have so much stuff connected to their TV, it's stressful. But if that person has a smart TV, a smart TV, you can airdrop or aircast to the TV. So guess what I was able to do? All I had to do was make sure my phone was connected to her Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. And then, and actually I'm going to share my screen so y'all can see what I'm doing. Let me see. To show you what this looks like. Oops. Okay, let me share my screen. Hold on. All right. So y'all can see my screen, right? Yep. So I can't tell you how to do this on a Samsung because I'm an Apple girl, but when you swipe down from the right hand corner diagonally, you're going to see those two boxes on top of each other. And then when you click that, you're going to be able to air cast it or air drop it to the TV that you're connected to on the Wi-Fi. And so I was able to literally just pull up the big picture video, which I had already saved in the notes section on my phone. And then it just casted it on her TV. So literally that saved us. Mm -hmm. um, it just saved us. So it was a great thing. So if your person has a smart TV, um, just know, and it could be, it doesn't have to be a Samsung. It could be a Vizio. Anyone that has like the Netflix icon and the Amazon Prime icon, any of those TVs, all you have to do is connect your device, whether you're using your phone or your iPad or your laptop, you just need to be on their Wi-Fi. And then you do screen share and you will see their home or their TV, their mm -hmm. TV um, come up as an option to select, to share your screen to. Beautiful, beautiful. It saved us. But just as Director Brown said, you got to practice your setup. Mm -hmm. setup is one of the things that always made me nervous um my husband and I uh we used to have a DJ business and I would be a ball of nerves until I heard the music playing because I'm like what's gonna go wrong with this technology and is this gonna work you do not want to have a room full of guests and your start time is supposed to be three o'clock mm -hmm. and you still trying to figure out how that is so unprofessional so anytime you are um, having a presentation, make sure you get to the destination an hour before and make sure you set up everything so that everything is good to go. So that for that next hour, you just chilling, relax and getting in your zone to do your presentation. But don't wait until 15 minutes before trying to set it up and it's not working. That is so yep. unprofessional. Back to you, Director Brown. Yep. And it's, it's um, unprofessional, but then it just, it makes you look bad because you inviting people over to show them about this business and you can't even get your TV together. You don't even know how to set up the TV. So practice today if you're able to, but you need to figure out how to set that up, whether you are going to airdrop it, whether you are going to use the HDMI cord, figure out how you're going to do it. And then I'm going to make a post inside of the bootcamp group where you are going to post a picture of your setup so that you can show us that you practiced it it, it works, and you're going to be good to go when it's time to do your PBR. Speaking of time to do your PBR, this PBR needs to be completed by February 15th. I think that's a Wednesday. Remember, this is not a huge, big party. You don't need weeks to plan this. 
You calling 10 people today, tomorrow, whenever, hey, I want you to come over to my house. I'm going to have some snacks. We're going to, you know, play some games. Make it fun. The one good thing about a PBR is that you can make it fun. It does not have to just be, I'm showing the plan and then they leaving. You can make it a little interactive. You can have some games. Don't go, like I said, you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money. So very light hors d'oeuvres. If you want to have some cheese and crackers, maybe some juice or something like that, that's absolutely fine. But please don't go and spend a whole lot of money. Don't do that. I always tell that to people. And then for their first one, they feel like they got to go all out. And then they spend all this money. And then they come back to me and say, Director Brown, I should have listened and just did what you told me to do. Yes, you should have. <laughs> so you're going to post a picture of your setup. Um, I'll make that post inside of the group so that you can post that proof. And remember, you are going to be doing your, the due date for this party is February 15th. So start planning it today. Pick a day today that you can do this and have at least 10 people over at your house or over at your friend's house, wherever you're going to do it. And then also get a picture at your party so we can see the turnout in the people that were there and you're going to post that proof as well all right Charmaine what's all the smiling about is you, you smiling so hard over there <laughs> I don't know if it's nervousness or <laughs> I'm just imagining 10 people at my house but we're going to work on it we're going to work on it we're going to do this we're going to do this <laughs> yep and, and listen, even when the people came to my house, that was something that I was worried about. And I had 10 people that said they were coming, but only five people showed up yeah. and it worked out. I ended up moving my table against the wall because I just had a small sitting area. So I moved my table against the wall and I used that as like my setup for the snacks and all of that. And we, it was space for us to sit there. And remember, we were staring at the laptop because I couldn't figure out how to set my TV up. And we sat there and we watched it. And when I did mine, I actually did a theme of um, a vision board. It was January when I did it. Even now with February, that's still something that you guys, if you wanted to add a theme to it, you can add a theme of, you know, design your ideal life. I'm having a get together to discuss, you know, we're going to plan out our year for 2023. We can make vision boards. If you want to add something like that, you can. The big goal is to show the plan. That's the main purpose. We want to show the plan. Now, this is still, some people will have a PBR. So that's showing the plan, but they still miss that last part. We still got to have three-way calls. You still need an expert to close these people out. So everyone is familiar with the three-way call list, right? Everyone has seen a three-way call list somewhere inside of your group. You got it saved. I need you guys to identify at minimum three people, three people that you know can close out your guests, three people that you know is going to be able to answer all of their questions, three people that are experts, and at least have those three people on standby. You got at least three people. It's a whole list, you guys. So your sponsor or your first upline director, if they are on that list, of course, you want to have them on standby. Have at least three people, you guys. Some people don't know about the list. Some people um, may only use one person and that one person that you use and might not even be closing people out. So we might need to <laughs> switch up some things, but make sure you have at least three people that you are going to be able to use to have those three-way calls. Okay, so you want to let, and let's just say have, let's say, for example, me. All right, so you let me know, okay, I'm going to be having my PBR on such and such a day. Would you be able to be on standby to come on, on Zoom, you know, speak to the people, share a testimony, answer questions, all that stuff. You want to have somebody on standby that can do that, but then you still want to have some additional people that can do three-way calls for you. All right. Does that make sense? Anything you want to add to that, Director Burke, that part? Uh, yeah. So make sure that the three people 
that you have on your list that are your go-to for three-way calls, please make sure that you have their edification. If you do not reach out to them because they need to properly be edified. If you do not have three people, reach out to your upline director and ask them who um, do you recommend that I, can you recommend three people that I should use on our team for three-way calls? It's not everybody. It needs to be someone that can cast the bigger vision of what this opportunity um, can do for them and really knows how to tap into that prospect's why of why they're even looking at the opportunity. Um, so make sure that you have that list of three. Um, the other thing, and I kind of want to go back for a second because um, Norma put it in the chat, but this is what I did as well. You should be doing a weekly PBR at your home anyway, period. If you have a smart TV, there is a web browser. And so what I did in my family room is on my web browser, I have the big picture video bookmarked. I have the ITA video bookmarked. So now I don't even need my laptop HDMI for my home one. I don't need those things because I'm able to just go to my smart TV and go to the web browser and go to um, the bookmark video. It's so easy. Don't need any of that stuff. Now, I still cast um, mirror my phone because I have images of like the compensation T plan, the income disclosure statement. So I still have some visuals. I may even pull up the ITA by the numbers to show them the maps of where we do business. So I use a lot of those things from the Planet Now blog as visuals when I'm doing the presentation. I show those things. Um, but again, if you have a smart TV, you can just bookmark the big picture video. You can bookmark the ITA test drive video. In fact, guess what? There is a um, travel party PBR video on the Planet Marketing page. You can even go to one from the Planet Marketing Facebook page and pull up that one. Any of the Monday, Tuesday, Thursdays that are already there. But in Vimeo, in the Vimeo Planet Marketing channel, there is a PBR that's done. Mr. Bradley's on it. Orlando Moore's on it. Shedrick White. I, want, I think Eileen Ross. I think it's like the four of them that are actually doing the presentation right there. So you can bookmark that one. And now they're getting the PowerPoint presentation. So you have so many options, but you still want to have this HDMI and know that setup because what if you go to your downlines, your new business partner's home to do a presentation and they don't have a smart TV? You gotta be prepared. And in planning for directorship, because everybody wants to be a director and secure that legacy, yes? Guess what? Anytime I go, here's some things that you're going to want to have. And in the future, just add these to your list of things you need to have. A projector, a clicker, again, the HDMI, maybe a little travel bag to put all that stuff in. And at some point, maybe even a portable screen doesn't have to be the big screen. I got both. I got the big one, but then I have a small compact one that if I needed to fly with it, I could. And every time I go as a director, I'm just sharing with you what I do as a director. Anytime I go to a presentation, I have that bag with me. So that if I get to that presentation, like last night, I was in Tampa for Super Saturday but guess what? I have my backpack, my little travel bag, and I had my projector, my laptop, my HDMI, my clicker, because if they had some type of technical difficulties, guess what? The show gonna keep going. Mm -hmm. But you have to have those things. So invest. I'm not saying go spend all that money now, but I'm just preparing you for directorship. You need to have a projector, an HDMI, and, and a screen in case you go to a place that doesn't have, like you may find, for example, you might say, you know what? I got a restaurant in my city. They're allowing me to use their back room weekly to do PBRs, but they have no TV. So now you got this free room, 
but you don't have the equipment to do the weekly PBR. So again, if you have the projector and a portable screen, you're able to do whatever you need to do, no matter what the circumstances are. So just kind of keep that in mind um, mm -hmm. as you increase your equipment um, for your business. You got my biggest pet peeve is people not having the right technology, but they want their business to pay them six figures. You working with a 2000 phone that has no memory. You can't even download an app anymore because your memory's full. Really? Or even worse. You know my other pet peeve, Director Brown? Cracked screens. Oh, yeah. I meet somebody talking about you got this business that could change their life and you're going to send them a video and you pull out your phone and the screen's all cracked. Do you think they're really taking you serious? Just being mm -hmm. honest. Mm -hmm. Do you really think they're taking you serious with your crack? But but you got a business that could change their life. And you ain't changed your phone. Either say ouch or amen. And I don't care if you have the, the cover on it. You know how you have the screen protector? And you're like, well, no, my phone ain't cracked. It's the screen protect. Well, get a new screen uh, protector. Stop using that crack screen protector because you too cheap. You're like, well, as long as my phone screen is good. Come on, y'all. You got one chance to make a first impression. So what is this saying? Yep. I saw someone when I was talking about, you know, having a theme for your uh, PBR. Somebody put Super Bowl weekend. Is that this weekend or coming up? Next weekend. Oh, okay. Okay. So that it could be, yeah, you can add that to your theme, you know, whatever team's going. I don't know nothing about it. Um, somebody wants to update it three-way call list, I'm guessing, in the group, so we can post that. Uh, Shandrika asks, can we also have guests in person and virtual in the same meeting? You can have some virtual guests, but the goal is to still have those 10 in the room. You want to yeah. have those 10 in the room. Yeah, this is not a webinar Zoom. This is having people in your home. And these are not strangers. Let's make that clear. Because let's get that out the way. But no, these are people that you know. Mm -hmm. And add value to your invitation. If you know someone who loves to travel, listen, I'm having, I know you love to travel and you need money to do that. I'm having a private business reception on my home Saturday night, and I'm going to be sharing some information so you can do more of what you love and make money. And mm -hmm. like, what? Make money and travel? Yeah, I'll be there. Mm -hmm. Say, I'm having some light refreshments, nothing big, so don't come over here hungry. Right. Have funny, have fun with it. Have fun. Get comfortable with that because this is something that you should be doing weekly. Mm -hmm. As you're out and about and you're meeting people, now you have something to invite them to. The other thing, I, I shouldn't have to say this, but I'm going to say it. Make sure your home is clean mm. and smelling good. Please don't invite people to your home and you don't fried some chicken or fish. A mm. tuna fish and your house stinks. Don't do it. Clean your house. Clean your bathroom. Make sure there's toilet paper and soap and something to dry their hands off. Empty out the trash. Maybe get a little candle in there smelling good. These things are important. Mm -hmm. people want to feel comfortable in your home if you have pets put them up if they're unruly if you have young children get a babysitter send them to the neighbor's house or something don't have kids running around in and out and let your family know you're having a business presentation they cannot be calling you mom can you no mm-hmm Open up your windows, air the house out because you don't know what your house smells like because you in it all the time. Right. 
Real talk. I'm not Corey. Why Corey, you I'm not playing with Corey? Corey is cracking up. Corey. I'm not playing with her today. Corey, why are you laughing? Come on, tell the truth. Unmute yourself. I got to hear this. She is cracking up. This is Comedy Central for her. <laughs> she can't even talk. She can't even talk. Corey, come off of mute. <laughs> I, I just, I can't, I, I just, I just can't, I can't, mm-mm, mm-mm, I can't. Corey, am I telling the truth? I, I mean, you had me at the crack phone. I, I cannot, I just cannot, I cannot, mm-mm. But go, go ahead, preach, go ahead, preach. <laughs> Uh, and I'm, I'm I'm not trying to be funny, but these are things I, I, I know. Personally I, I know, but I, I'm sorry, but you got let me go on over here and holler. That was funny to me. Okay, you had me at the crack phone. Yes, people with crack phone, but but this business can change your life. Mm. Okay, I can't tell. Yes, David, I said two thousand. There's some people who have not upgraded their phone since two thousand, and we in twenty twenty three. They're like, it still work. I can make a call. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm come on um josephine also put a pre-valentine's theme you know mm -hmm. just add a theme to it and josephine also asks can we do this with a business partner absolutely you still got your Perfect. 10 they got they 10 absolutely absolutely and again make sure you take director brown said Take a picture of your setup. We want to see the big picture on the screen. So don't be hooking something up and then we can't see that you can actually access the video or the presentation um, that you're showing. Make sure if you are going to do the PowerPoint presentation, make sure you have the most recent mm -hmm. version of it. So you can download that. Matter of fact, let me share my screen so we can show everybody where... To, uh, hold on, got to log back in. Uh, where to download the PowerPoint presentation. So when you're on your virtual office dashboard, you're just going to go to virtual office, information center, and then presentation. Okay. And then you're going to download the United States um, PC condensed presentation. All right. I highly recommend looking at this business etiquette presentation. This is going to give you some information. Um, and the other thing you need, if you have a HP or whatever laptop, you need to have PowerPoint downloaded or you're going to have some issues. You must have PowerPoint to play the PowerPoint presentation, okay? If you have a Apple device, um, we're able to, Apple comes loaded with um, Keynote, so we don't have those issues. But for y'all that ain't Apple users, you refuse to use Apple, yeah, guess what? You're gonna have to pay for PowerPoint. <laughs> Sucks to be you. <laughs> I don't think I have to pay for PowerPoint. Uh, Microsoft does not get PowerPoint for free. So you must, if you have Word and all of that, you had to pay for Excel and Word and, and PowerPoint. But what I'm saying is you have to have the software to play, properly play a presentation. You mm -hmm. can't just download it. And that's where some people have their issues. I'm speaking to the people that are not tech savvy. You have to have a software to play the PowerPoint presentation. You can't just download it and it's going to play. You have to have the PowerPoint software. Or again, if you're an Apple user, you have Keynote. You're opening it up using Keynote. But if you do not have an Apple device, you're opening it up and playing it uh, via PowerPoint. That is the software. Mm-hmm. Has right. anyone on here, I see a few people on Facebook that have done travel parties. Have anyone on here that's on the Zoom ever done a PBR travel party? No? I, I, I've done one before. Okay, and so how was that? Just share your experience with everyone. 
Um, so for me, um, it, I invited a, a few family mem family members and, and friends. Only had about three people that came. Mm -hmm. um, what I did, I mean, I did uh, have exactly what you did. I had a, um, a little refreshments, uh, had water with the lemon in it. Um, and I mean, it was, it was, I, I just made it like, made, made it seem like regular, just like I played a video. Um, and and th that was pretty much it. I mean, my experience with it, it was pretty um, easy. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So it's not, just don't want the people that's nervous and remember, this is your family. These are your friends. These not strangers. You're just inviting them over to come and hear this information, to hang out with you, to support you. So just being yourself. This is not a scripted thing. You're being yourself, inviting people to come over to your home for this private business reception. Yes. And also when you open it up, thank everybody for coming. Let them know you are a travel business owner and tell your story. So everybody should have their story. It's like a two minute story. And actually I have a training video <laughs> on my YouTube and I'll share it in the bootcamp group of how to create your network marketing story. But it's basically where you were, what you were looking for, how did you come across the information? What did you like about it? And where are you going with this opportunity, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm easily gonna say for me, you know, I was working as an administrative assistant. I was tired of living check to check. I wanted time freedom. You know, I was being targeted at my job, uh, reached out to a friend. They shared the business with me. I love what I saw because of the product was travel and that was something everybody does. And so I immediately got started and I used this, you know, where am I going? I'm, I'm building an empire. I'm creating a legacy. I'm breaking those generational curses of lack with this opportunity. I'm able to generate eight streams of income. So there's, again, I will post a training video on how to create your network marketing story, but that is what you want to open up mm -hmm. your PBR with. And then you say, now I'm going to show you a quick 10 minute video that can explain this amazing business opportunity way better than I can. Mm -hmm. And as you're watching the video, ask yourself three questions. Does it make sense? Can I do it? And who do I know that could benefit from an opportunity like this? And then just play the video. Mm -hmm. And after the video is over, ask each one of your guests, what did you like best about what you saw? So now you're getting some interaction with them. Yeah. Right. And then now you have the opportunity to, again, if you have your senior business partner there, they're going to answer questions or you can zoom them in, go to zoom, right? Or you, if you, hey, low technology, get them on speakerphone. Mm -hmm. if you have to and that's it in and out it, sh it should all be done 40 minutes yep at the most because you're playing a 10 minute video and here's the other thing y'all write this down if you take a notes start on time that's that's one of my pet peeves Talk about it, Director Brown. Oh my goodness. Like if you tell me your party start at two o'clock, I want your party to start at two o'clock. Not, oh, we're going to give it 10 more minutes. I'm still waiting for my cousin to come. Oh, my mom not here yet. I want to wait. No, if your event starts at this time, that's the time you need to start your event. We're not going to hold up everybody else because you're waiting for this one special person or two other people. There's a lot of people. I know I'm not the only one. Like It's really one of my biggest pet peeves. It's not even just in person, even online events. If you tell me that your Zoom starts at this time at eight o'clock, the Zoom should be starting at eight o'clock. So please, 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 even if you wanted to... Um, Let's say you said, you know, uh, welcome at eight o'clock, presentation starts at 8.15. If you wanted to do something like that, then do something like that. But if you have starts at eight o'clock, that's when the event should be starting. That's when you should start opening it up. That's when you should start telling your story that Director Burke just talked about and then rolling into showing the plan. Because this is another thing that shows that 
you're not professional. I'm coming to a private business perception, yet it started at eight o'clock and now it's 8.45 because you were still waiting for your cousin. I'm about to go home. I'm not going to fool around with you. So please start on time, y'all. Please look at Director Burke. She has 7 p.m. Every Wednesday at 7 p.m. So that's when you start coming in, start having your hors d'oeuvres, start mixing and mingling. At 7.30, that presentation is starting. And with this, this is also good if you wanted to make a flyer. So when we're talking about these themes, remember, you're still personally calling people, though. You're not just shooting them this flyer. You're personally calling them, telling them about the event. And then if you create a flyer, you can then send them this afterwards. But you need to make it a personable invitation. And then if you add in the theme to it, you can make a flyer with, you know, Super Bowl, pre-Valentine's Day, you know, whatever, travel, whatever you want to add to it. But um, yeah, just please start on time, y'all. Yes. And, and as she's saying, the flyer... Write this down, y'all. The flyer is the confirmation, not the invitation. Mm -hmm. They don't even get to see the flyer until they tell you, yes, I will attend. Then mm -hmm. you say, okay, let me send you the information. But that is not the invitation. It is the confirmation. Yes. Uh, David said, how would you go about doing the PBR with strangers? Well, you could have it at a public place. If you're not comfortable with people coming to your home, you know, strangers coming to your home or whatever, then you can have it at a, a public place, right? You can, um, I can tell you in the beginning, I used to go to the hotel lobbies mm -hmm. and it would be like a one-on-one -on -one or maybe a two-on-one, -on -one, uh, you know, in a quiet section of a hotel lobby because I got access to their Wi-Fi and I'm mm -hmm. doing a presentation right there. Or again, you may have a restaurant in your city that has a back room, that has a TV, you can have it there or whatever. Um, but typically when you're inviting people to your home, these are people that you know. Now with me, I haven't had any issue. Well, number one, I have 24 hour security to even get into my community. You got to show your driver's license. The RSVP, I'm having a conversation with you. I'm also a married woman. So I have a man. So I'm not, you know, uh, if I was a single woman, I'm not having strangers in my home. I'm married. I got a big dog. I got security and I got a nine millimeter. So I'm not worried about any nefarious people coming to my house to do anything strange. But I have posted my, this is just me. I have posted my flyer on uh, Nextdoor, the Nextdoor app. Mm -hmm. And it's my immediate neighbors in my community that have come to my home for the presentation. And, they, and I had just met them for the first time, them coming to my home to see the presentation. But it wasn't like, oh, there's this strange man who wants it. It's never, I wouldn't do that. I'm not going to put myself in that type of situation. But it's a, it's a usually because it's the next door app and it's the people that's in your neighborhood. So I'm able to go on their page and see, oh, okay, they're married. They got kids, they got a dog or whatever. They're interested in the business. But if I ever felt like, oh, this is a strange person. No, I'm not going to have those people in my home not going to have those. But your PBR should be people that you know. This is your warm market, not your cold market. So it's either people that you personally know or that your warm market personally knows. Like maybe it's your neighbor and your neighbor's like, oh, my sister's in town, so I'm bringing her. Or it's your friend and they're like, oh, and I'm also going to bring my neighbor. It's your warm market. These are not strangers coming to your house. Mm -hmm. If you want to do something for strangers, have it outside of your house in a public area. Right. Maybe you know someone who has a clubhouse. That is a perfect place to do a PBR at somebody's clubhouse for their apartment. Does that answer your question, David? Yes. Awesome. Awesome. And again, you may have, and I love the, what Director Brown says, if your house is not set up to facilitate a professional private business reception, please leverage someone else's home. Please. If you don't have decent parking, don't have it at your house. Have it at somebody else's house. 
Because if I can't find a parking spot, I'm leaving. I don't, I don't play around with parking spots. I will leave. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Constance, you had a question? Yeah, just because I'm getting ready to drive. Just to piggyback off of what y'all said. And you, I like when you just, you just um, confirm something that I need because I have a lawn. I don't have a sidewalk. I have a driveway, hold two cars and a lawn. So um, I'm planning something at my job at the airport, which is perfect because it's centrally located for a public PBR. And then also one of my best friends is having one, we're getting one together at her house, which she's centrally located as well, because I'm in the country. Mm -hmm. No sidewalks, just grass. So, <laughs> and then I spoke with the restaurant at the airport and he's going to um, allow me to do a PBR at the restaurant. He has three screens, holds 22 people. So we're working on something right there, you know, like that. So Perfect. at the airport, y'all hear that Crystal and Tanisha at the airport. Yeah, Which driveway. airport is this? PGV in PGV. Greenville, North Carolina. Uh huh. We don't got two flights. <laughs> <laughs> that is for Greenville got, Airport. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. I love uh, it. Y'all, y'all be on alert. <laughs> Excellent. All Let right. Is there any more comments in Facebook? Yes, I was just looking at that because Laura mentioned that Panera Bread has free meat and space rooms, just order something. So I didn't even know that, but it made me think back to when, so, you know, like uh, Director Burke was just saying, you know, she has security, she has her husband, she has her dog. Here I am, a single mom, it's just me, I got my daughter. So of course, I don't want a whole bunch of people at my house. So one of the things that I did when I was doing my PBRs is there's a coffee house that's right. It's actually near where you stayed um, when you came, Director Berg. There's a coffee house and all you have to do is order a coffee and you can use their room. Now, it did not have a, a TV, so there was no way for me to play the video. What I ended up doing, you guys, and this was like, what, 2018, maybe 19, I printed out the presentation and I put it in folders. And I would give the people the folder to follow along with me. And then I would call Director Rayleigh on speakerphone to have that conversation, to answer questions and all of that. So if you know, you're know you not comfortable with somebody in your house, there are these places that you can use for free. I remember one time I even, well, actually a couple of times, I would uh, book a room, like let's say at the Hilton, and I will use the agent rate and I will end up turning it into a staycation for myself. But I will book a room, and let's say on Friday night, I was going to have a PBR. And I would invite people, is at the hotel, it's not my house. So they would come here in the hotel room, you know, hooking up that presentation to the TV, again, calling Director Rayleigh, those people gone. And now I am have a staycation at the hotel for the weekend. Yep. And somebody also that. mentioned the library. Library yeah. have space. Yes. Basically what we're saying, there is no excuse for you to not be able to have weekly PBRs. If you want to get to director before we hit momentum, which is 100,000 active agents, you need to be having weekly PBRs. Find a way to make it happen. No excuses. Mm -hmm. No excuses. If you are serious about securing that legacy, weekly PBRs. Pick a day of the week, the same time, create a flyer, and just do it. And maybe you rotate with some of your business partners that are in the area, right? So if, if let's say Charmaine and Corey and Lacey live in the same city, Charmaine might say, okay, I'm going to do Tuesday nights. Corey's like, I'm going to do Fridays. And Lacey says, I'll do Sundays. And y'all just rotating it. But it's happening weekly. That's how you build the market quickly. Mm -hmm. And one day you're going to run out of space in your living room. And now you're going to be able to have the whole, it's going to turn into a corporate meeting. Any questions? Any questions? This might be a silly question, but if this, um, what if your the your the business partner is not necessarily on your team? Is that okay? Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Because mm -hmm. I connected with someone that we've been going to the in person meetings on bi weekly every Thursday. That's been hosted by um Director Washington, 
and I've been connecting with her and she's not on our team. So, okay. That's fine. And Corey, because your corporate meetings are bi-weekly, then your PBR should be on the off weeks that there isn't a corporate meeting. Because here's the other thing, never schedule an event that um, conflicts with corporate, with anything corporate. So if your corporate meeting is on, you know, Tuesdays at eight o'clock, don't you schedule a, a PBR for right. Tuesday, right, uh, right. right, or a webinar or anything right. like that. You never want it to conflict with corporate. So um, yeah, the off week that you don't have the weekly meeting should be the, the week that you do the PBRs at your home. Okay. Or somewhere. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good question. Any other questions? Let's check Facebook. Any questions, Facebook? Yeah, I love the folder idea too, Luz. That's that's great for people who, uh, you know, and that's that's also a well. We got the videos. I was gonna say they could follow along with the video too, or or you could send them the PowerPoint. Yeah as well and then you don't have to print anything i mean technology just allows you to do so much but yeah you could actually send someone the powerpoint presentation um and they could follow along that way or send them the um you know the video i like that no other questions all right so uh director brown you want to real quick just summarize what the play is yes so you are going to complete a private business reception. The due date is February 15th. It must be completed by February 15th. Don't wait till, don't try to have your party on February 15th. Let's, let's get it out there, get it done, invite some people over, get it out the way. I am going to create a post inside of the group for you to post a picture of your setup, showing us that the video is on your TV, so that it's ready to go when the party starts. And even Luz put in the chat to do a, a practice run. Do a practice run before your party. So set it up. You know, you can stand there and speak. Even when I started doing the presentation, I would be in my living room just talking to myself during the presentation. So you can do that for your party. Share or start to speak to yourself how you're going to share your story. When your guests come in, how are you going to open up the floor talking about your story, why you got started and all of that. So I'm going to post that, uh, make that post for you to put your picture in the comments. You're also going to put a picture in the comments of your party once it's, it's happening. So taking a picture of your guests in the room with the TV on, with the big picture or the presentation showing on that TV screen. You want to make sure that you have your three people, you have that person that's going to be on standby, you're going to let your director know, your sponsor, whoever your upline is, hey, I'm having a private business reception on this day, can you be on standby for me to call you, for me to Zoom you in, whatever the case is, to be able to answer questions and close these people out. And then you want to make sure you have two additional people from the three-way call list that are available if needed for you to be able to reach out to them for three-way calls. Mm -hmm. Due date, February 15th. You're going to post a picture of your setup. You're going to post a picture of your party. I think that's it. Is that everything, Director Burke? Yes. And I'm uh, sharing in the group the training video for how five tips for creating your network marketing story, because that is what you're going to use to open it up. And um, I'm also going to share in there, uh, your network is your net worth. That will teach you how to work the Facebook group so you can start to build relationships with people that live locally in your area. Mm -hmm. And I think a couple, it was a couple of weeks ago, director, um, Mayberry on basic training, the basic training was on your story. So if you caught that, if you missed it, they're always recorded as well on your Planet Marketing back office. All right. Sounds good. All right, everyone. Let's get to work and let's have an amazing week. Talk to you all later. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, Facebook. <laughs>